Hey guys, what's happening? So, in that huge eBay lot that I got, I got this pretty cool looking uh, jump starter. And if you're not familiar with a jump starter, it's a way to start the your car or buggy. And that thing is supposed to engage the flywheel, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, one of the things I thought was cool about this Offna one is that it came with this uh, glow plug igniter. And most of the ones I, I see online don't actually have that. So you can plug that in, and you don't need to have an external glow plug igniter, plus you have a lot more juice, a lot more power, you just you can start your buggy, you know, or, or your car, or whatever. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I'd like to get this thing working again, even though both my, uh, all my cars have the electric start in the back of it, but, uh, I might get, like, an on-road, like, 1.8 scale, you know, like one of those hardcore, like, uh, you know, the, uh, on-road racers. Alright, so the way this thing operates is that, that, that rubber wheel is supposed to hit the flywheel back there. And you're supposed to be able to push down on it and engage the flywheel that way. But like I said, it's cool that you actually have this. Most of the ones I've seen online don't have this, but this you can hardly get that on there. So you know. can see a lead acid battery inside there. Oh, yeah, it's disconnected there. Which is good, but how do I get this open? Alright, that's cool. Huh. It's a double motor design. I'm guessing wired in parallel. More series, but I don't know, that doesn't make sense. And then I'm also kind of wondering about this glow plug igniter. There is some circuitry in there. I'm guessing there's some sort of like step down voltage or, or buck or something like that to step down 12 volts to the 1.2 uh, volts for the glow plug. So I gotta take this battery out. I mean, I'm assuming this will probably work if the battery was charged and hooked up, so uh, I'm not going to even bother uh, I'm just going to charge the battery and see, what, see what's up see if I can recover this battery alright, so let me give you an update on this bump box I forgot to film and film what I was doing there but um, so I converted this over to Dean's connectors and I designed this Infusion 360 it's a battery box for double LiPos And, yeah, Dean's connector, and also this front thing doesn't work, so I have to redo this. So the output on the glow plug was actually putting out 14 volts, which would fry the, uh, fry the glow plugs. So it, can be, it can't be more than 1.2 volts. So this thing is supposed to be a voltage regulator module. So I don't know if, if there's a bad MOSFET in there or what the deal is, but I might take it apart and check it. But I think I'm just going to um, print, reprint a new face and put like a, like a 12 volt meter in there and uh, kind of update this interface here. Yeah, but I definitely want the integrated glow plug. And like I said, the front panel, so let me show you that real fast. So one thing with lithium-based batteries is that you need to know the voltage. Uh, because if you go below a certain voltage or, or percentage, then you hurt the cells. And I also have the integrated igniter. All right, try this out. See the voltage go down. Cool. All right, this is going to be for the uh, Mugen over there. 